Well, Josh, welcome to Derby. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, it feels, feels really good. You know, as soon as I knew there was a, the interest, it was a place that I, I wanted to come and play football. I'm always interested in the outsider's perception of, of the football club. So, so what is your sort of view on Derby County as a player coming in? Yeah, massive, massive football club. You know, I think being in and around the game and watching them from, from when I was younger and whatnot, they've always been at the, uh, the top end of the football pyramid, you know, so it was a, a real uh, no-brainer for me when I knew the interest was there. And the interest there because of the, the connections, which are, are pretty obvious, the, the, the manager and, and the coaching staff as well. How has Paul been with you in, in this pursuit to get you to sign? Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Like you said, I worked with him for uh, a few years uh, previous and whatnot, and obviously worked with Andy even longer than that. So uh, as soon as I knew the interest was there, not only uh, from them, but the club, you know, it was something that I really wanted to uh, pursue. We've heard lots of stories about how we can be in terms of FaceTime calls and relentless messages. Did you get that treatment or was it a little bit different for you? Yeah, no, I got that treatment. You know, I got that treatment and it's, uh, it's nice as a player because uh, you, feel, you feel wanted and you feel that they want you to, to come here and, and play for them. So, you know, he, he has a way of sort of persuading people and whatnot. But, you know, it was a, it was a no-brainer for me. Is it quite nice actually as a player to go in knowing what to expect as well? It removes some of that doubt, I guess. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It is nice. I know their regime. I know the way they work. I know what they want from you. I've played under them and probably had my best and most enjoyable football playing under them. So that is a that is a plus side for me as well. You mentioned, of course, the, the goalkeeping coach as well, Andy. Just tell us a little bit about him. He's, he's the member of the group that we probably hear from the least. Yeah, I think all goalies are the same. I think we like to stay out of the spotlight and stay away from it. And he's, he's no different to that. Uh, like you said, I worked with him for... I think five years in total at, at previous clubs and whatnot and it's just a connection we have and we work really well together. I feel he brings out the best in me and I, he knows what uh, he wants from me and whatnot. So uh, yeah, he stays stays quiet and stays in the background, but uh, trust me, he puts a lot of hard work in. It must feel really nice for, for a player when people keep wanting to work with you and, and keep wanting to sign you. As you say, third club with Andy, second with, with Paul and the rest of the group. Yeah, it is. It's, it is a nice feeling. It just shows that I've performed performed for them and, and done well for them and that we enjoy working together and and uh, and whatnot so I'm, I'm looking forward to going again obviously had a, a really good few years at, at Rotherham how difficult was it to move on uh yeah it was I enjoyed my I enjoyed my time there and I've got nothing but good things to, to say about the club and promotions and and, and that we had together and, and and whatnot but uh I just felt like it was time for a a new change and a new challenge for me and it's a big summer for you, on, on the, off the pitch, as the cliche goes. Yeah, yeah, I get married this summer, so you know I'm really, really looking forward to that and, and the honeymoon which goes with it. So yeah, it's going to be an enjoyable one. Well, enjoy it and, and welcome to Derby. Brilliant, thank you.